Uh, hello again, everybody. Um, this is probably the last video I'll put up of the version 2 of the Christmas Lights project um, until I actually get a show put together for either the 4th of July, uh, Halloween, or next Christmas. So, um, as you can see, I've got the cases all put together. Um, here we have uh, the connector for uploading new program to the Arduino. This is the connector for feeding data from Vixen to the uh, RF-232R breakout board. Um, here we have the two uh, power cords. Uh, one powers half of the channels and one powers the other half of the channels. There's the power light indicator and this is the random mode switch. Now, um, to I've ran into a couple of issues so I'm going to have to upload some new code uh, to the Google Code uh, archive because I, I found some bugs in the code once I really started messing around with this, um, but it does work. Uh, one of the things about Vixen is that if from one frame of the sequence to the next frame of the sequence, the data doesn't change in any of the channels. So if they're all on in, in the first frame and they're all on in the second frame, you don't get any data for the second frame so what I'm doing is uh, in order to keep um, the correct brightness on all of the channels I put in the code now that if it doesn't read anything it shuts all the channels off um, it really was the only decent way to handle it um, and then the next frame coming through uh, with data will cause them to do whatever they're going to do. Uh, so if you're going to use the code that I put together, my recommendation is that you leave one channel blank and just vary the value on that in every frame. Um, you can just use the ramp up or ramp off in Vixen to do that. And that will guarantee that the rest of the channels always get their data sent um, even if the, even if none of their values change from frame to frame. Uh, something else that's interesting here is you can see that, so what I've got here is I've got a whole bunch of mini lights, uh, different kinds of mini lights connected up. And one, uh, dual string of, uh, multicolored LEDs. This has pointed out something interesting to me, is that even though I have the channels completely turned off, the relay is still leaking enough power through to light up almost a complete dual set of strings from the LEDs. Now, they're not real bright, but that does cause an issue in that if you want those off, there's just no way to get them all the way off. And I don't know if that's because there's a difference in the uh, random cross uh, SSRs that I replaced the zero cross SSRs with on the same smart boards. Um, it's probably, that's probably part of it. The, I mean, obviously the random cross is capable of, of turning on and without having to be at the zero cross point in the AC cycle, and that's why there's power going through there, uh, even though I'm not specific, I have that channel turned off. Uh, I suspect that there are some resistors or something on that board that don't that aren't big enough to keep the power from leaking through. So. Um, if you're going to follow the way that I did it uh, with replacing those relays with the random cross relays, just be aware of that if you're using LED strings that 
even though the dimming works perfectly on them, you cannot turn them all the way off, which is uh, kind of disappointing, but, uh, you know, so be it. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've uh, created a Vixen uh, sequence with 32 channels, even though I've only got things plugged into, I don't know, about the first, what, eight, nine, nine channels there. Uh, so I've got uh, sparkling uh, mini lights, regular mini lights, um, multicolored mini lights, some more mini lights up here, some more mini lights over there, and I've also connected uh, just a regular old incandescent lamp to channel one. Um, again, we will see... Uh, the LED signal indicators, they will change as well in brightness with the channels. One thing that I did do is that when I mounted the power plugs, I mounted them too far to the outside of the top, the top enclosure, which meant that I had to basically flip it around in order to get it in here. And what that means is, even though up here is channel 1, on the indicators, this is channel one. So these will be getting lit up and not those LEDs. These will be getting lit up and these LEDs will. So I've set up a Vixen sequence with a bunch of different things, a sparkle, random, ramp on, ramp off. Um, several minutes of that, about I think four and a half minutes just to kind of show uh, what it can do with these with the lights that I've got connected here um, and I will run through that and I'll just shut up and let you watch what's going on here <clears throat> let me just uh, run the sequence and I'll turn off the light in the room uh, wait a minute wrong sequence oh no that's the right one I just need to Turn the volume down because the music doesn't have any relationship to what's going on in the sequence. Now we'll start and we'll see it ramping up. And then it should get all the way up. To the max intensity and then turn off and ramp up again and if we go over here we can watch the indicators you can see the indicate the LED indicators here and I've still got one burnt out in there no matter it must not be the LED because I replaced it. It must the resistor must be bad. But you can see that gives you a really nice smooth um, fade in, fade out, regardless of the lamp type. And I think it's going to do it one more time. So you can watch the LED string, even though it never turns completely off, it also dims nicely. And hopefully we'll be getting into uh, one of the other effects here. I don't remember how many times I had it. Oh, there we go. I think this is probably just random. And this is the sparkle where it kind of sparkles them around and fades them out. This is more random. Let's see if I can back up here and get a little bit more in the.
Anyway, I just want to let it go through all of these different things so you can see the various effects that Vixen will have. And clearly you can, you know, do lots of different things. It's a ramp up and a ramp down. Some more random. More sparkle. And again, those ramp up, ramp down, you know, those can be as slow or as fast as you like. Um, I just, you know, pulled out sections in the sequence, highlighted them, and, and did a ramp up, ramp down command. The other reason uh, that I had it set all the channels to off if it didn't get any data from Vixen is at the end of the song, at the end of the sequence, you don't want the lights stuck in a particular state. So you can see the sequence just ended, so it shut everything down. Again, there's power leakage, and that's why the LEDs are uh, powered. But that's it. I'll be posting up... Uh, the latest code here soon uh, but I wanted to get this video up so people could see this actually works and talk to you later